Welcome to Singapore and the famous Marina Bay for the first DBS Marina Bay Cup. The regatta is an invitational event that brings some of the best teams from around the world to compete in match racing at this iconic venue. First thing, we're very happy to come to Singapore. Um, the selling in Singapore is very important. The, the government and all the lo local authority are very dynamic. And with this area here, Marina Bay, like we are straight in the middle of the city. The wind is a bit tricky, but it's tricky for everyone. So I'm sure it's going to be a good, very good competition. The DBS Marina Bay Cup takes place in the heart of Singapore, one of the busiest metropolises in the world. Bringing sailing to the buzzing city centre not only gives the public an opportunity to see some match racing up close, but it also provides a perfect platform for sponsors to showcase their involvement within the sport. It's the kind of sailing uh, that's happening around the world nowadays where they bring the, the sailing really near to the spectators, so that is actually very good for the sport. The sponsors will only sponsor when the public get involved, you know, when the, the public is involved and watching and following the sport. So, you know, when it's in the city, it's, it's definitely better for the sport on the whole. Four teams were present in Singapore, an ideal number for the match racing format. The teams have come from all over the world. France, Australia, the Philippines and, of course, Singapore. They'll be racing SM40 boats and it's likely to be highly competitive, with every team looking to be the first name on the Roll of Honor for the DBS Marina Bay Cup. The first day produced light, shifty wind conditions inside the bay. Not ideal, and it certainly tested the crew's tacticians. In the first round robin, Team Singapore tied on points with the Philippines Standard Insurance Team. But with Singapore winning the decisive match between the two crews, they were the team who topped the leaderboard after the first day a good place to be among such tricky conditions. Oh, the weather today really, really shifty, really hot, humid. So uh, big difficulty is really the, the wind is really difficult to, uh, to, have, uh, to understand what's going to happen. So you, can, you, you, you have to be ready for everything, basically. It's early in the regatta, however, with another two days of racing still to come and after an intense opening morning, the afternoon was reserved for the crews to invite corporate guests on board for some gentle racing. The teams enjoyed the rest of the day sailing with corporate guests on board, representing Deloitte, DBS, Luke Oil and Atelier Dreisaitel. Some of the guests were already familiar with the sport, others enjoyed their first taste of sailing a racing boat. It's simply to, to get out of the office today and uh, enjoy uh, kind of the pre-Formula One here and uh, get together with a few of the colleagues and, and meet other guys uh, from the business as well. And it helps a lot. We do a lot in our company to, to try and get people together. It's a relatively small office in a big company, so we need people to socialize and then they get along better in the office as well. The prize giving for the Pro-Am took place at the Kinky Rooftop Bar in the city. An enjoyable end to what was a successful opening day to the DBS Marina Bay Cup.
After only having sailed a few races on the first day, the organizers were keen to finish the round-robin stage of the regatta on the second day and allow for the semi-finals and finals to take place on the third and final day. Luckily, the weather gods were listening, and with better wind conditions, 16 matches were completed. The competition was tight, and heading into the semi-finals, it was the local team from Singapore who had the advantage. They were tied on points with the Philippine Standard Insurance team, both with seven wins, but Singapore triumphed, winning in the match against their closest rivals. Australia, however, were breathing down their necks, and with some clever sailing, they finished the round robin with six wins. Tomorrow the pressure will come on a little bit, and I think it's always interesting, come finals in any sport, people start to crack under the pressure, um, and some teams lift, so we'll just have to see. On the final day, it was all to see if the Filipino team could come back and repeat the triumph of the recent Southeast Asian Games match racing finals held on the same waters three months earlier in June. But everything was still up for grabs here, with the teams having equal chances in the semi-finals on the last day of the DBS Marina Bay Cup. On the final day, the crews were eager to progress through the semi-final to the grand final, where the winners claimed the inaugural DBS Cup. Match racing is the most gladiatorial sailing discipline there is. The crews are trying to outthink their opponents, whilst also sailing their own boat to its maximum speed and agility. Boat handling skills are vital, as well as slick crew work. The pre-start can also be crucial. Uh, probably the biggest thing today is going to be getting to the first shift, um, the first major shift of the race. A little bit of pot luck, a little bit of putting your boat in the right place. So if we get a clean breeze, we can do well. Only, only the pro work and uh, the wind. I think it's just sailing to the wind. Yeah, because it's very patchy. Uh, the pre-start to get to the better side of the course, the, the first speed is always quite important. In the semi-finals, the two crews that had impressed all week, Singapore and Philippines, eased through their matches. Both scored 2-0 victories against Team France and Team UWA from Australia. The two defeated teams progressed into the petite final, fighting for third place. Asia-Pacific Student Cup winners, Team UWA, didn't find it hard to grab third podium place after scoring two wins against the French. So now the scene was set for the grand final, and with consistent wind conditions, the pre-start became more important. Team Singapore took first blood and got an early point on the board. However, the Philippine Standard Insurance team came back strong and took the next four flights and with it, overall victory. I think the, boat, the motivation uh, is still there from SEA Games. Same uh, opponent, the Singaporean guys. Yeah, we just had to focus uh, right after the first race because uh, we lost that one. Uh, the wind is not uh, really, it was very shifty, but uh, all the sides uh, have wind. So if you got the starting line, then you can have that. The week completed with a beautiful award ceremony. The winning team celebrated their victory at the top of the podium. All the crews enjoyed what was the first ever DBS Marina Bay Cup and it will be sure to return again next year. Until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>